This video is sponsored by Geology. So it's crazy because I actually use this product and I got sponsored by it. You know, that's just kind of just the personality. You know, I'm starting to become bigger, so that's just how it happens. But Geology is a skincare product for men, specifically for men. Um, I don't know about you guys, man, but it really it's really hard for me. And, you know, I've done, you know, many, many trials and errors through a lot of products. And I know it's hard for us men, us younger men, whatever you are, to kind of just find a skin routine for you guys. Because a lot of people don't really realize, man, as much as I am on camera, I got to take care of my skin. Because as soon as the videos get to 1080p, 4K, 8K, you can start to see every little thing on my face. So it's definitely very important for you. And it's not a feminine trait to take care of your skin. I don't know why a lot of people have that stigma. Take care of your skin. So geology is definitely one of these things, man, where it gives you a step-by-step -step routine and it also gives you a layout to decide what's perfect for your skin. And that's why I thought it was really cool. You know, not the fact that it was just the products, but the fact that it, you know, has certain things that dedicate to your skin. Now, it's a simple two-minute step, man. Here, here you see me. I'm literally just dabbing, applying the morning cream to my face, you know, putting a little wash on my face. Then, you know, a little put a little night cream. This is my nighttime. It's the same thing during the day, but the nighttime. Put the nighttime. Put a little thing on my eyes. All right, after that, then I put a little, you know, put the little moisturizer around my face and bam, see? Then I'm done. You know, it's, it's really not that, it's really not that hard. It's a simple, you know, two-minute two, two minute step. And I think that a lot of you guys, as much as us, minimal, as much as men want to be minimalistic, man, we don't want to really do too much. You know, it, it, this is just a simple way to kind of just get through the day and get through the night and still have healthy looking skin. Now, as you see right here, this is where you fill out the uh, the steps. You know, just fill out a little questionnaire. It takes about one to two minutes, kind of going through what you are, what kind of, you know, skin you have, um, you know, your amount of time outside, inside, etc. And you basically, after you fill this questionnaire out, it tells you everything that is really good for you and it picks a formula for you and easy, just like one, two, three. Um, you get a discount if you use my discount Miami. Uh, it's in the description box below. You get a 30% discount. Again, it's not a bad thing to take care of your skin. I know a lot of people think that's a stigma, thinking that's really feminine, but look, everybody wants to look good. Everybody wants to look presentable. And I feel like this is a step in the right direction for you to take care of your skin. So that being said, check it out. <laughs> Good YouTube, it's your boy Dev back again. First listen, y'all know who that is right there. Now today, man, we're going to take a listen to the brand new Joji album titled Nectar. Sir Joseph has finally released his album after about, what, three months, two months delayed. It was supposed to come out back in July. That got pushed back, it was gonna come out in August. That got pushed back, so it's finally here. I know I'm a little late, I'm about a week late, man, but what else is new, man? A lot of you guys, uh, it is what it is, all right? I got the video, all right? Watch the fucking video. You've been waiting for the video? Watch the video. A lot of shit came out that I actually had to get to, and I had to actually push the Joji back album. I had to push the album back. So um, I'm just here to take a listen to this, man. Like, I've been a fan of Joji for the last, what, two years? I did the first listen, you know, the Demon song. You know, he had a little thing that looked like the thing from Monsters, Inc., the little fuzzy shit. And then he had Ballads 1, which uh, R.I.P. is still my favorite track from that. Uh, in L.A. is the other one. Um, Fall in Love in L.A. was the other track that I really loved. I just feel like Joji, after a lot of... Sh oh, yeah, that's another thing I want to talk about, too. He had a lot of heat this year because of his other persona, Filthy Frank, that I still have not... I'm not aware of. I still have not listened to Pink Guy. I know I owe you guys Pink Guy. You guys got 3,000 likes. You know what? Fuck that. Get 3,000 likes on this video. We gonna do Pink Guy, all right? We gonna do fucking Pink Guy. Because I don't understand. I, look, I'm not... I, I am not oppressed. I am not one who is sensitive. I am from another era. I am not about cancel culture. I am not about any of that. So there is nothing really, I believe, that Joji can say in that album or is in his early in his career that would make me hate him now because I'm going to tell you right now, my ass be, my, my sanctuary. <laughs> I mean, that bitch jamming. So this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to listen to Nectar right now, and then we're going to do Pink Guy later, all right? That's all. 18 tracks. I've already listened to four tracks. And I must say, three out of four so far from Joji. The only track I did not like was Daylight. That's the only track I did not like. So, hopefully it's fire. That's all I'm saying. Hopefully it's fire. It's a banger. And it don't let me down. But, like always, man. Ben, talking too much, man. We got Nectar by Joji. Y'all ready? All right, the first track is called EU. Yeah. Hey, 
minus. It's kind of subtle, you know, it's kind of subtle right here. You know, like, Joji doesn't have a very great singing voice, but it's just the way it's just, it comes out. Like, he's not the greatest of singers, but there's so much emotion in his voice that you kind of just feel the pain that he's speaking, right? Hello? Yeah, who's this? Hi, good afternoon. My name is Luis. I'm calling you from the local Florida Blue Agency. How are you doing today? I'm good. What's up? Glad to hear that. Well, Devin, I'm giving you this call because we wanted to let you know in your county, you are one of the prime candidates for some health plans as low as zero dollars per month. So we wanted to share the details of these plans and quotes with you. In case that there will be something you can take advantage of. Is that okay? Oh, no, I'm good, man. I already got health plan. I'm good now. And by any chance, have been any dental plan, auto or house insurance that you would like to get information for or quotes for? Nah, I'm good on that, too. I got all that, too, so. Okay, okay. Well, just remember, in case you will need any kind of insurance in the future, you can give us a call back. We have good options for you in your county, okay? Sounds great, man. Sounds great. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Pussy. <laughs> like, he's not the greatest singer, but he got he got he got some vocals too. I like uh, the ca the classical instruments is definitely a nice touch. The classy feel is definitely a nice touch. All right, my opinion on that first track, man. I gotta say, um, definitely a nice touch with the classical shit going on. I'm still up and down on how I feel about that. Uh, that was definitely more of a singing track than we already got from the four singles. I think that, you know, Joji, that's a safe intro right there. That's definitely an intro that's going to catch a lot of people off guard. It's going to kind of just entice people to listen to the rest of the album. And I think that that was a safe intro. Now, I don't know if it was on my playlist yet. I don't know if it's playlist worthy yet. But I feel like it might grow on me over time. That's usually how Joji works on me, you know. First of all, like, first of when I hear it, I'm weirded out because it's always just like, like, did he really just do that? And then as time goes on, I'm just like, you know what? This shit is fire. So, uh, track one, I'm a little indifferent towards. I don't know if I'm really like, ah. I gotta, I gotta sit on it, all right? Definitely gotta sit on it. Pause. Track two is Modest. So I lied. Remember when I said they didn't have any classical shits in the first four singles? I do remember now that Give Me Love uh, in the second transition ha had, you know, kind of the violin and the shit going off and whatnot. So I, I can see kind of the direction he's go there. But it's like for me, man, these two tracks are kind of just not hitting me in that same way and that same feeling that I get when I listen to Give Me Love, Run, Our Sanctuary. It just doesn't give me that same feel, you know? Artificial girls with no reception. I like that. I, I definitely like that because, you know, the way we are now, artificial girls or a lot of artificial people out there, no reception, basically can't receive. But at the same time, though, you're saying artificial girl, you're saying basically robot girls, basically what they are, and, you know, symbolism right there. And then, you know, they don't get reception. You know, phone phone reception. Simple, but it means a lot, really. I like that. Alright, so the way I received that track is I felt like he was basically kind of just saying, you know, he's not ready for you. But at the same time, you know, it's just the, the world that we live in, man. Everything is so artificial. Everything is so fake. Everything is just, you know, he's so out of tune, which I feel like that's Joji right now. Especially, you know, I... I did not know who Filthy Frank was, but then you I knew that he was a very popular YouTuber because you guys informed me about that. And, you know, kind of seeing that and being a popular figure on YouTube, being one of the original YouTubers, right? 
And then now becoming this guy who's very introverted, who just wants to keep to himself, who's very saddened. A lot of his music is very depressing. You can kind of just see that he understands. Like, he's just out of touch with a lot of stuff nowadays, especially trying to, you know, connect with a uh, significant other. I feel like all, all throughout this track, he's kind of just saying, like, look, man, like, I'm just really not ready. Um, or you're not ready. And I just don't think that, you know, you're you're ready to even do it for yourself. I feel like a lot of things in this life... You know, you just don't understand yet, and so that that's why right here I'm gonna give you time, and I'm gonna just I, I feel that's how I feel. I, it, it makes sense in my head, but that's just how I feel. What this track is explaining. Now, it may not be the right thing, but music is how you receive it. So that's my message that I got from it. So, track three is TikTok, like the TikTok, TikTok. is sad as fuck. He's like, my hands in the ocean. Like, he's sad as shit. Oh. All right, man. Uh, for that track right there, man, y'all know how I feel about the old school samples. I don't know where that sample is from, but, you know, I do know it's from that Nelly Dilemma song. Every day I think of you. Oh. You know, like that, that right there. And the track was called TikTok. But instead of like TikTok, it was called, you know, like actual word tick tock tick tock Hickory, hickory, duck. I was about to freestyle, but fuck that. Um, but I feel like the track had a, definitely a meaning towards... I didn't really get it. I didn't get the message. You guys can explain to me in the comments below. But I think that it was very... You know, it was very creative to kind of have TikTok, especially a famous kind of just thing right now. Because people, a lot of, a lot of people are going to use this on TikTok. A lot of people don't really realize, man, TikTok, as much as I hate it, I understand it's a platform now for artists to grow, man. Slow music, as much as I've been a connoisseur of that, I've been listening to slow music for the last decade and a half. And slow music is now becoming popular and it's becoming a mainstream thing. And a lot of people do it because TikTok. TikTok is one of the main reasons. It, TikTok pushes a lot of artists. TikTok can literally make you from a nobody and blow up your career in the next day because they used your shit in a song. It's crazy, man. And you gotta, you gotta understand, man, it's got getting with the times. Really. Um, track four was Daylight by Diplo. Now, produced by Diplo, I'm assuming. I did not like, man, certain EDM tracks, they have to hit me, right? And if this e if it's EDM like that, it's, it's just not going to do anything for me. I really did not like that track. It was a full-on skip. After hearing Give Me Love, Run, Sanctuary, I was kind of just like, okay, this fourth track has to be fire. And it really just didn't hit me. I really was just like, nah. Track five, Upgrade. Time to get it right, you know. Won't you upgrade? A simple sweet message right there from Joji, man. Look, saying that, hey, man, I know it's just optional, but, you know, I can be your upgrade. You know, like, you want to upgrade? Let's do it. Or that can also mean, like, let's upgrade the relationship. Not just yourself being an upgrade as in, like, hey, I'm better than the last person. But saying, like, hey, let's just upgrade from friendship to relationship status. And I think that that's exactly what that track was. A very, I would say it's an interlude type of shit because now we have the three best tracks, best tracks on the album so far. I will let a little bit of it play, but I've already did... Um, I did a reaction to Give Me Love, and I did a reaction to Run, I believe. Yeah, I did a reaction to Run and Give Me Love. Um, I'll put that at the end of the video. And Sanctuary, I did not do a reaction to, but I gotta say, out of my favorite ones, Sanctuary is probably my favorite. That first intro, I don't know, Give Me Love is just as fire, too. Like, we'll let, oh my god, like, I just get, like, what? I just, every time I want to hear this, I just wanna... It'll be like 3 in the morning, bro. This song will come on. I'll be so tired. And then I'm just in my room just like bopping. It'll be like late at night. I'll be in the dark and like, like this. Like, because it gives you this vibrant feel. And I always tell you guys, man, 
There is nothing on this album so far that I felt because maybe I'm, I'm doing myself an injustice because I'm feeling like these last three tracks, like Give Me Love, Run, Sanctuary is supposed to be what the album is consisting of. There's a reason why there's things called singles, all right? Why you put them out first. Because this is what gets you excited for an album. Listening to Gimme Love, bro, it just... Swinging up front, let me inside. Playing my song, into my sides, it hurts. I that is so far! And I do, as much as I love the second transition, kind of that that teeny bop shit, you know what I'm saying? Where you just want to bop, it's... It, it sounds like... Take on me. Take on me. Like, it, you know, it, it sounds like something like that. Now, that's fire. Now, run. I like that. Do, 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 do. That should be hit me every time. That, oh, but, and, but my favorite right here, I feel like I be just like, this shit make me sad as fuck. When I hear that track, man, it's just the it's just the beginning when it and I don't really know. I like when I first heard it, I didn't know what to expect from it, right? And then like, and then it dropped to the I can be your one call away. I feel and the sound like to be honest throughout this album. He was kind of just playing the side nigga role. Like, he was playing like, I'm the, you know, uh, what is it called? Um, same girl. He was playing like, you know, the second man. I, was, I forgot what I was going to say, but it sounded like that. And yeah, man, the, the back to back to back. No, knowing that these tracks are back to back to back already just gives me like that upgrade. Actually, from TikTok, upgrade, give me love, run sexual. That's pretty solid. That's actually a pretty solid run right there. That's definitely solid. Um... Track nine is High Hopes, featuring Omar Apollo. I am glad that he's been very consistent, though. Kind of this... Continuing the violin play like uh, I definitely love how he's continuing that throughout every track So I think that's pretty cool um, I what does nectar actually like represent in the album like what is it just it what why did he say why the, I mean obviously a week later he's probably already said what the title was but like What did he explain like what did he say the reason was the title title nectar and also I think he had a different picture too because I remember it being some honey and now it's just a picture of him in his face, you know. Yo, wake me up, Ray Mysterio. Why my Wake me up, Ray Mysterio? Is that Ray Mysterio's theme? I like is that his theme song? I don't know who Ray Mysterio is, but Ray Mysterio has been around now for two decades. Two and a half decades. So uh like you would have to actually explain to me what that means, what that line means. <laughs> Now, I don't know who Omar Apollo is. I've never actually listened to Omar Apollo, but I feel like he definitely added a little touch to it. That was definitely more of the chiller tracks of the album. Um, again, I, I just, I don't, I'm very indifferent. I, I definitely have a specific feel, a specific sound that I want when I listen to Joji. And if it doesn't hit, it doesn't hit. It's not saying that's a bad track. It's just not for me. Uh, you know, there's a difference between there's a bad track. I'm like, yo, this has to be bad. People have to feel that this is bad. And then there's just kind of just like, ah, uh, it's not really for me. It's cool, but it's just not for me, right? And that's how I feel about the album so far. Aside from the tracks that I said. It's still, it's still, A, it's still a good album so far for me because I did like four tracks. Or five tracks. Track 10 is Nitrous. Girl, I'm gonna is weird because I like the weird sounding tracks, right? Maybe that's what it is. Uh, I, I don't know. Yes. Ooh. 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 I'm actually 
actually surprised that we haven't got any ads. You see? Like, we didn't get any ads. Just shocking. That's exactly the track I'm talking about, though, man. Like, like for me, man, I just, I, I'm, a, I'm a guy of vibes, all right? I love production. I love, you know, very catchy melodies. I love, you know, soft lyrics. I love, you know, R&B shit. I just love sounds. Um, you know, when you hear it, it's kind of just like, it makes you feel some type of way. I really don't care how I'm dancing, how I'm moving, because I'm by myself. I'm not trying to impress nobody yet. I, I, first of all, I let alone don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. But at the same time, I'm kind of just in my own element. You know, like, I, I, I did some of these and, like, it was because it feels good. It feels good. I'm moving with the, I'm moving with the beat. I don't care if it looks good on the outside. I know in the inside, it feels good. And tracks like that make me feel really good. I love nitrous. Now, I can interpret that as nitrous as you put the motherfucking nitrous and you run away from these bitches. That's how I feel that track is, all right? The nitrous, all right? <laughs> Track track eleven is pretty boy. I'm a pretty boy living on the west side, popping blue pills and sipping on fire. That's a nah. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Well, man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pretty boy. That track right there, man, I feel like it just didn't, the bit didn't feed. The, 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 bit, the bit didn't feed. Wow. You see, I just did that. The beat didn't fit. What the fuck? Uh, I just think that Lil Yachty has a feature on there going into the rock style. I just think that that was like, whatever. Uh, that was just not something that was appealing towards me. But yeah, I just think that there could have been better features on there. Uh, this is my opinion. Uh... <laughs>